the current Corda Farm versus my Corda Farm. A Corda Farm that I've actually designed just as early as this morning. Just like Gampa on YouTube. Me love Jamaica, me now sell out. I'm a pro Jamaica. people and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time on the channel a special welcome to you i'd say you check out the rest of my videos if you like what you see give them a thumbs up leave a comment but more than anything i'm asking that you subscribe to the channel today is august 6 2022 when jamaica celebrates its diamond independence 60 years of independence Today is a day when most Jamaicans around the world and in Jamaica will be in a celebratory mood. I said most because not all Jamaica share the same opinion as far as where independence is concerned. And I am also one of those Jamaicans that believe that independence, hold on, let me take my glasses off. Yeah, I'm one of those Jamaicans that believe that independence, when it comes to politics, means self-governing. And as long as Queen Elizabeth II remains our head of state, in my opinion, I don't consider ourselves to be truly independent. So ever since I've gotten to the age of independent thinking, independent thoughts where I gather my own opinions and add my own one plus one equal two, I've always had a problem with Jamaica so-called independence. Nonetheless, I am passionate about my nationality, I am passionate about my country, and I keep uh, an eye on Jamaica and its politics, despite what's within my control and what's outside of my control. Anyway, for the 60th anniversary of Jamaican independence from the UK, my proposition to Jamaica is to cut ties as soon as possible with the monarchy because um, it makes no sense. I've said it several times on this channel that Jamaica is still, the overlord of Jamaica is still the United Kingdom, a country that Jamaicans presently requires visa to enter. That in itself is just ridiculous, but it's not about visa entry or non-visa entry. Plays a part of the logics, but just the overall nonsense of independence and having a governor general and the queen after 60 years of so-called independence. I say Jamaica should become a republic and Jamaica should govern its own country whether that is for better or for worse. Um, we don't know how that will turn out, but independence should be independent, self-governing, with no outside puppet masters or no mom or dad to answer to, especially mom and dads who are residents and head of other countries. So I took it up on myself to offer to my subscribers and Jamaicans all around the world and in Jamaica uh, a choice. The current quarter farm versus my quarter farm. A quarter farm that I've actually designed just as early as this morning because I knew that I was going to challenge the current quarter farm. But as a disclaimer, let me say the current quarter farm would have to stand until Jamaica become a republic. Um, the reason for that is this. Uh, first of all, the, the present quarter farm that Jamaica has, um, it was designed by a British. It was designed by the very same people who were giving us independence. And what was sneaky about that design is if you look at the current coat of arm today, you can see where the English flag is still embedded into the coat of arm. And that in itself just represents the British continued presence in Jamaica's independence, in Jamaica's activity, in Jamaica's politics. Another thing about the coat of arm is that if you look at the top below the alligator, there is an armor and that is an armor that represents British armory. That is a British defense system. If you go into British history, you will see similar armory, which plays no real part in Jamaica and Jamaican's lives, so to speak. 
Next, let's challenge the, the alligator. The alligator again was chosen by the designer, the British individual. I forgot his name right now. It's irrelevant. Um, the alligator was chosen and said because of its determination to pursue uh, its goal. Um, not so sure how that replicates Jamaicans today. So I understand that the, the alligator is a beast of a creature and um, it is determined to eat and feed itself and survive no matter what. Um, but yeah, let's move on. Um, let's go down to the shield. Okay, shield. The thing about shields, I have no problem with the shield. The shield represents defense. When you see a shield, a shield represents defense. So I have no real problem with the shield. What I do have when it comes to the shield is the pineapples that's on the shield. Um, according to the source that I got the information from where the whole coat of arm and all its elements and their definition are concerned, the pineapples were just put there for cosmetics, decoratives. Um, they have no real significance in the history of Jamaica or um, the future of Jamaica. They were just put there so it looks a little better. On the left and the right, there are the Taino, Taino Indians. Those are the, the original settlers that we believe were on the land of Jamaica before the slaves and everybody came. The history that I understand is the Tainos and the African at some time had interbred and got together and so on and so forth. However, whether that is facts or fiction, Jamaicans don't look like that today. In the last 60 years, Jamaicans do not look like the Taino Indians. We respect the fact that they were settlers on the island before the slaves came, but let's be truthful. Let's be factual. In the last 60 years, there is uh, the majority of Jamaicans look like me. The majority of Jamaicans are black people, stark black people look like me. So my proposition is to take away the Taino Indians. Out of many one people, I believe that should still stay for the simple fact that we are a multiple of ethnicity when it comes to Jamaica. But consistently it has remained from then until now that black Jamaicans that look like me are the majority. And if you look at the court of arm today, you would realize that nowhere in the court of arm shows anything about me. I just know that it is a court of arm and um, it is a Jamaican court of arm. So for that reason, uh, oh, well, before I go, the, the females got a basket. Um, don't have a problem with that. And the man has got a, a bow and arrow. Um, that was their defense system back then. So this is my version of what the coat of arms should be. I created this this morning. So moving along, my coat of arm, my coat of arm says Jamaica from the door. Um, it is above two slaves. Um, at the moment, I've got the, the, the statue slaves from Emancipation Park because most Jamaicans can relate to that statue at the moment. However, in my head, as I was designing it, it is irrelevant whether it stays with that particular statue slaves or a symbol of black Africans, a man and a woman. Beneath the woman, I've got a basket. The basket actually represents um, the land of Jamaica being fruitful and the woman herself being fertile and fruitful. So that's what Jamaicans are about. Um, the man for his weapon, I've got a machete. Above, I've got the land of Jamaica tilted at an angle with a donkey carrying a load on it. The reason why I've chose those two is very transparent. One, Jackass never say the ground is level is a saying that all Jamaicans should know have been in our culture from day one. And two, there is no other animal that I could think of that has been carrying load and burden for centuries 
and remain strong, remain fertile, remain fruitful, and remain consistent as a donkey. We, the Jamaican people, possess a lot of those traits when it comes to endurance on the suffering, endurance under the thumb, and Jamaica, the land being tilted, is for the simple fact that Jacques never said the world was level, and we Jamaicans know that, but we continue to carry that burden, we continue to carry that load, and we continue to be strong. The shield remain because, like I said, a shield represents defense, but instead of the British cross, I have removed that and put a Christian cross on the shield for the simple fact that majority of us Jamaicans were brought up on the Christianity religion, on the Christianity beliefs, and we continue to do so today. So what best to represent our defense as Jesus Christ and God Almighty, a symbol of them. Um, above where Jamaica is written, you can see that with some sunshine there because Jamaica, despite the seasons change, sun is consistent within our land. You can see I gave the man a machete because like I say, I want things that Jamaicans can relate to and all Jamaicans can relate to a machete. We used it for farming and, it, and we have used it for a defensive weapon. The woman's basket, okay, like I said, I've just put this together today, but the woman's basket should have fruits that Jamaicans can relate to, mangoes, ackee, even the pineapple, so on and so forth. So people, I want you all to think, away up these two quarter form, the present one and the one that has been designed by ENT Sebast. Let me know what you guys think. Don't be afraid to criticize. Don't be afraid to praise. I like to see my Jamaican people come out. So I watch the float on TV and I had mixed feelings. I like to see my people together, so I wasn't confused. My feelings wasn't mixed when I see a whole bunch of Jamaican people waving Jamaican colors around. That was not my prop. That was not an issue. However, I'm very technical when it comes to anything to do with my country and politics, so I pay attention to a lot of details. And I did have a problem with one segment. There was a part of the float that had a band that was wearing red, white, and blue. And I had a problem with the colors, red, white, and blue. Um, if one of you guys can open my eyes to what it, what it represents other than the red, white, and blue of the UK, please let me know what it is. But I definitely had a problem with that. The second problem I had was you know, Emancipation Day, we knew from January 1st that Emancipation Day was coming. We know that every year it comes on August 1st. And so did Andrew Holness and the Jamaican Labour Party. It seemed like there's a water issue going on with the Emancipation Statue Fountain. So there was no water. And I just thought the, the politicians' priority was out of pocket, out of line when they ignore that, you know, it, 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 to some people it's a small detail, but if this is Emancipation Park and you're gonna celebrate Emancipation Day and the float is gonna pass by the park, the least you can do is make sure that the fountain is working. It looked bad. It looked like the Jamaican politicians did not prioritize that. And if you guys didn't prioritize that, then the Jamaican people are just a puppet in a show that you call emancipation and independence. Anyway, people, like I say, the main point of my video today was to propose to the Jamaican people my coat of arm. Propose to the Jamaican government to eliminate the monarchy, eliminate the head of state. It doesn't make any sense. It, it makes our people, Jamaican people, look foolish, look idiotic, look like we are still slaves, still uneducated. Jamaica is probably the only country where the queen is the monarch and they need visa to go to England. The, the big heads in Jamaica, because they already have their visa, their diplomatic passport and so on and so forth, they don't really care that Jamaicans 
should or should should not require uh, a visa to go to the United Kingdom. I mean, personally, I've lived in the UK. I've lived in the UK for over eight years. Um, my interests or non interest in the UK remains to be personal and private. But other Jamaicans, even if they want to just go and look what the UK is about, what London is about, um, they should have that freedom to go there. However, it makes it would make more sense if the Queen is not our head of state and Jamaican people requires a visa to go to England or anywhere in the UK, just like any other country that Jamaica doesn't have any monarch ties with. Politically, that would make sense. Anyway, people, like I say, vote for my court of arm. Obviously, I created it, so I'm going to vote for my court of arm, of course. Um, but keep in mind, even if the Jamaican court of arm would have to would, would change. It would have to change when Jamaica become a republic, when Jamaica become fully self-governed. And the best part about this court of arm is it was designed by a Jamaican. Moi. <laughs> anyway, people, as you know on my channel, I appreciate thumbs up and thumbs down, agreement and disagreement, because at the end of the day, people, each one teach one. Me love Jamaica, me not Jamaica. Sometimes we 